Good morning, everybody. It's Trisha Lee, and I'm just at the Embassy Suites um, in Concord, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte. And so I just wanted to make this video for you and uh, talk to you about uh, some of the things that I learned over the weekend. And uh, it's like um, kind of related uh, back to my own experience in my own life, but. Uh, we were talking about how the education system and the kind of American dream and how it's a little bit of a like scam because everybody out there is kind of all hooked on this idea of winning the lottery and um, I just really connected with what uh, the speakers were talking about. Oh, isn't it pretty here? <laughs> There's like this big skylight. Ooh, nice. Yeah, really nice uh, hotel. <laughs> like luxury. Ooh. Uh, so anyway, we we all kind of caught this American dream that uh, people have been kind of sold all around the world. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a scam. And I can remember, I'm like super smart. <laughs> I always had really, really good grades, honors in school and stuff. And um, I think everybody's just super smart. Um, just in different ways. And for me, I was like book smart in school. Um, I had no trouble passing tests and stuff like that. And then when I got to high school, I kind of figured out the scam for myself. I was like, why do I want to sit here in this classroom and listen to these boring teachers um, talk to me about boring stuff that I'm never going to need to know anyway? <laughs> um, like memorizing facts like dates and stuff in um of events and like past stuff and and I do I do enjoy studying history now in life but in high school it's like what's the point how is this going to be useful to me in my life I, and why do I want to listen to these teachers man I'm going to go be rich and they're like poor <laughs> and they have to put up with like bs kids like me who th are all think they're smarter than them and are like not wanting to listen and like as if I want to do that I don't want to do that I'm not doing that so I part of my problem in life has always been that I have this like little bit of arrogance and it's something that I'm really working on is um, gaining humility and being able to um, I do realize that um, I am no better, but just as good as every single other person out there. Like I say, I think everybody's super smart, but so many, uh, the the way the school system is, is they're, they're only de uh, designed to recognize a certain kind of um, intellectual talent and abilities. And so, uh, yeah, I was like, nuts to this. I'm going out into the world, and I'm going to become rich, and... I'm not going to sit here in this stupid school and listen to these poor teachers uh, t t teach me how to go and do more school that's going to put me in debt to go get a job that's not going to make me enough money that I'm not going to like. So I actually dropped out of school in like pretty much in grade 10, um, actually in grade 9, I totally started like skipping and not showing up and then... Um, I still passed, and then in grade 10, too, I, like, barely, barely passed, and um, I actually did well when I was there, but uh, I mostly skipped out and um, actually became an alcoholic because it was just so much more fun, and uh, I, I knew I wanted to be wealthy and rich. Um, I had people in my within my own family that had that experience of life of having a lot of money and resources and owning um, their business and being um, able to uh, create bigger things for themselves in life. So I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to like have fun. So that's always been my goal and my mission. Even when I was a really little kid and I was in school thinking that, oh yeah, this stuff's going to gonna help me to uh, achieve my goals of having fun and having lots of money. And um so, yeah, I was like, thought that school was going to help me to do that for a while, for quite a while. And so I did really well. But then when I got to high school and I kind of looked at the way that my teachers were living 
and what they had to put up with from these like obnoxious teenagers, myself included. Um, I was like, I'm not going to do anything like that. Like my aunt was a school teacher and she worked really hard to get her education. And then, yeah, she had to go and put up with these bratty kids all day and she didn't make a lot of money doing that and so it's like yeah no I'm just gonna go have fun for now and I'm gonna figure out how to get rich later because I realized um in high school that it wasn't going to be uh, the whole school system and um that was going to make me a lot of money. And that's that's turning out to be true in life because now as a high school dropout, I am I own two corporations. I own patents. And, you know, nobody that I've talked to about investing in my business or being my employee or um, all the business deal or the um, suppliers that we have that um, give us awesome products to use um, in our – um, invention that we're working on or our customers. Nobody asks, oh, wh what kind of degree do you have before I subscribe to your service or buy your product? I need to see your diploma. Like, it doesn't happen in business. So I was getting right. And I'm really happy that I didn't waste a lot of time and effort in um, going to uh, um high school and, and college and all that kind of stuff because I think I learned a lot more out there being an alcoholic and getting some real life experience, <laughs> winding my ass in juvenile hall and um, making a lot of stupid mistakes. But all those mistakes that I made as a teenager, including um, uh, dropping out of school, um, are helping me now in life because... Um, uh, dropping out of school, it, it kind of taught me about how um, you should be committed to something and how uh, you should have a goal and follow through and how I didn't do that and it had some really, really negative effects in my life and I spent a lot of my high school years really miserable. But that's another story for another day. So basically, um, I just am excited <laughs> to be... Uh, here in um, North Carolina and to have learned all this amazing information that is going to help me continue on my journey to um, achieve the goals that I set for myself when I was a very, very young lady and um, I wasn't achieving them for a long time, but now I definitely am. And so that is just to have fun, have a lot of fun and a lot money and so far so good I am totally loving life and I'm actually um, just excited and kind of had a bad attitude the whole time I was here because I'm wishing I was at home doing what I love because there's no horses here um, in Concord North Carolina I haven't seen any anyway and um, I couldn't um, <clears throat> I didn't bring my guitar because uh, I just knew I wouldn't have time. I brought my guitar to a couple other events and there was just no time to sit down and play it anyway. So, and uh, my kids aren't here, and but they're coming with me to the next event, so that's exciting. So anyway, um, I guess I'll wrap, that, wrap it up with that. But anyway, I, I'm here and I'm kind of like, well, I wish I was at home because at home I get to do what I love every day. And here I'm, I'm learning awesome stuff that's going to help me be able to do more of what I love once I get home, but... At the same time, it's like, oh, I miss my horsies and my guitar and my kids. and um, So anyway, I'm really looking forward to going home and getting back to the real world, the real awesome world of my life that I live on a regular basis. So thanks so much for watching, and go out there and make it a great day. And if I don't see you in the future, I will see you in the pasture or maybe in some luxury hotel kind of wishing that I was in the pasture. <laughs> so go out there and make it a great day. And... Um, Subscribe to my channel because uh, you'll never know where I'll be next. And uh, uh, if you want to see me out in the pasture, I got lots of videos of that on my channel. So subscribe and check it out. And thank you again for watching. Make it a great day. Bye, everybody.